Honourable Minister, through the submission, I wish to provide advice to the proposed building of a hydroelectric project. Based on the bill to build a hydroelectric project, will provide affordable electricity to millions. Um, however, it could also flood national parks. Therefore, the conundrum here is to whether to approve the project to fulfill moral obligations or to block and stop flooding. I will use natural law theory and legal positivism to further analyze this conundrum. Natural law can be described as the natural order of the environment and can be interpreted as doing what is good and avoiding evil. Natural law holds the moral standards um, should form the basis of a just society. Aristotle argues that what is just by nature is not always the same as what is just by law. Building the power station will supply much needed electricity to millions at an affordable price, um, thereby changing their life for better. This is morally right thing to do and therefore just na by nature. However, flooding the large valley may not be just by law, but as per Aristotle, they do not have to agree all the time. Similarly, Plato mentions that only laws that pursue these ideals of justice can be considered right. I do not think there is any better ideals of justice than economic equity. St. Thomas Aquinas theorized that natural law participates in the divine eternal law and therefore we should do good and avoid evil. Flooding inadvertently while helping the poor may not be evil act, but however, helping poor must be a good deed. Um, Cicero's philosophy of natural law mentions that the states that exist to uphold the laws, which is harmonious with uh, uh, universal principles of nature, Supply of affordable electricity to poor certainly upholds universal principles of nature. Therefore, when you apply natural law theories, it supports building a hydroelectric project. In legal positivism theories, laws are considered as commands of humans with no connection to morals. Just uh, Jeremy Bentham um, used legal positivism to analyze common law and held that the view that common law is an expression of political views and is made by corrupt lawyers and judges. Austin argues that laws are general commands issued by sovereign to the members and are backed up by credible threats of punishment. And the Constitution of Ubuntu Land explicitly states that all legislation must comply with environmental integrity. Building the power station would cause floods and therefore inflict environmental damage. Furthermore, laws are, are commands with consequences of punishments and hence not obeying the constitution would definitely invite the uh, punishment. Therefore, when you analyze the constitution based on positivism, it is unlawful to build a hydroelectric project since moral obligation is not part of positivism building of a power station cannot be justified under legal positivism minister personally i prefer to interpret the constitutional obligation of environmental integrity through natural law I believe that this world, everyone has the right to power. However, affordability and availability are two major issues worldwide. Therefore, building a power station to supply many at an affordable price is morally right thing to do. Aristotle, Plato, Aquinas and Cicero, they all resoundingly support the good over evil. Fulfilling a fundamental right of having electricity itself is a natural law. Hydroelectricity is a renewable source of energy and when you balance its benefits against the hole in the ozone layer, the arguments for passing the legislation to build power station went hands down. As you can see, Minister, when you apply natural law theories, it supports building of a hydroelectric project.